so you won't get tripped up in great tribulation and mess around and take the mark of the beast. But that's another lesson. Let's look at Zephaniah. Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 1. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14. We're going to get a little more in depth about what the day of the Lord is going to be like. Zephaniah chapter 1. And pick it up in verse 14. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14. Let's see if Zephaniah, uh, the prophet, speaks of the Lord's uh, return in a little uh, uh, quiet, silent fashion. It's going to be drama. Go ahead. The great day of the Lord is near. Uh -huh. It is near uh -huh. and hasteth greatly. Uh -huh. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the uh -huh. mighty man, shall cry here there bitterly. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All the ones that are pretty much the, the, that, that are the powers that be. That, uh, uh, that are uh, having all this influence in the world now. They are going to be crying bitterly. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Go ahead. That day is a day of wrath. It's a day of wrath. The Lord is going to be bringing drama. Go ahead. A day of trouble and distress. A day of trouble and distress. Don't sound like no happiness here. Go ahead. A day of wastiness uh -huh. and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of darkness and gloominess. Go ahead. A day of clouds and thick darkness. See, but again, you have people uh, uh, preaching that the day of the Lord, that the, the, the day of the Lord is going to be like a beautiful rapture. You know, and, and all the people are going to go off to heaven and leave everybody else down here. And that's going to be, uh, 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 everybody here is going to be pretty much enjoying themselves, whatever. What's going to happen after that? See, but there is no rapture. All the way up until this time, we hear, all, so far we've heard the scripture speak of a day of gloominess, drama happening, stars falling from heaven, all types of chaos happening. But we hear preachers in these churches saying that the day of the Lord, they don't even speak about the day of the Lord. They would rather lull you to sleep and, and, and make you uh, believe that there's, gonna be, uh, that there's nothing to worry about. It's going to be so beautiful. Don't worry, the Lord got you, just keep paying your tithes. No, you need to find out what's going on. Drama is going to drop here, and you need to find out what's going on. We're talking about the day of the Lord here. Go ahead. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities uh -huh. and against the high towers. And against the high towers. It's a day of the trumpet because when the Lord is getting ready to turn, return, you're going to hear a trumpet sound. Go ahead. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk upon, excuse me, that they shall walk like blind men uh -huh. because they have sinned against the Lord. Now they say, and I will bring distress upon men. Not a happy time, not a beautiful rapture, distress, mourning. What do you do in distress? You panic, all types of chaos. You don't sit back and say, oh, I'm just going to wait on the Lord and, and this is going to be so wonderful. No, distress is distress. Go ahead. And their blood shall be poured out as dust uh -huh. and their flesh as the dung. Now, who tells you this, that the Lord is going to be uh, uh, bloodletting, killing people like this? You know, and their flesh is going to be in, in, laying on the ground like dung. The Lord is going to start, that's how the Lord is going to uh, uh, sever out a, 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 a different type of employment then. See, people gonna, it's going to be so many dead people, it's going to have to be people hired to bury the dead people. I mean, he said the flesh, read that again, brother. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. Because they have sinned against the Lord. Don't nobody tell you about sin against the Lord. They say, pay your tithes, it's going to be all right. See, no, but the Lord's going to be killing people that sinned against him. Go ahead. And their blood shall be poured out as dust. And their blood shall be poured out as dust. Who's going to be blood in there like this? The Lord is going to be killing people. Go ahead. And their flesh is the dung. And their flesh is the dung. And their money ain't going to be able to get them out of this one. They done paid all this money so far to get them out of all types of trouble. But when the Lord comes, his judgment is righteous and he's not going to want no money. He's not going to want no money. Go ahead. Verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. It's not going to be no, it's no amount of money that can be paid for what you've done, for all the sin that you have built up. Now it's payday, and you're going to have to pay. You're going to pay what you owe. Go ahead. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, mm -hmm. for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. He's going to make a quick work of all of it, killing people left and right. He said yeah, their blood is going to be like... Their body's going to be like dung upon the earth, okay? Let's look at Revelations. Revelations chapter 6, because the day of the Lord is a terrible day, brothers and sisters. And the scripture mentions that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. You need to find out about this so that you don't get caught up in it. 
Ask your preacher what, is that, what does that mean. Write these scriptures down and ask your preacher about them. Okay? Revelation chapter 6, and pick it up at verse 12. Revelation 6 and verse 12, because now we're going we're gonna to get into the Lord's coming and what it's going to really, what, what, what it's going to be like. Go ahead. Revelation 6 and 12. Go ahead. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, mm -hmm. and lo, there was a great earthquake. A great earthquake, because now we're getting ready to see the Lord's actual return. Go ahead. And the sun became black as sackcloth. The Lord, the, the, the sun became black as sackcloth. Ahead. This don't sound like a secret rapture. rapture. Not at all. Go ahead. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, uh -huh. and the moon became as blood. Now, I'm sure that if, if this happened, that everybody would be wondering what's going on. Everybody would be paying attention to this. Go ahead. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, mm -hmm. even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs mm -hmm. when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Now, we just read this in Matthew. Go ahead. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Now the, and, and the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And what? And every mountain and every island were moved out of their places. Now, this is drama. If I saw something like this, I would be scared out of my wit. I mean, you can close your eyes all you want to, but that don't mean it's not going to happen. This thing is going on. Go ahead. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men mm -hmm. and every bond man and every free man. And every bond man and every free man. Again, these are the ones that are the powers that be. The powers that be that, that, are, that are doing this. Go ahead. Hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Because playtime is over. Playtime is over. You got, yourself out, you got yourself out of all the trouble that you can get yourself out of with the money that you've been paying, but now playtime is over. They're going to see this, and they're going to hide themselves. It's not going to be nothing, no secret rapture. Go ahead. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, uh -huh. and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, uh -huh. and from the wrath of the Lamb. Because they're going to see this. They're going to see Jesus sitting on the throne, because he's going to be looking, and he's not going to be, it's not going to be fun and games. He's not going to be happy. He's going to be angry. He's angry now. See, and just because we don't, just because the, uh, it's been sp spoken that the Lord is going to return for so long, you got people taking this thing for granted and saying, well, you know, he came, he came back so far. Hey, the Lord is patient. He's patient, and he knows how to deal with destruction. We're talking about the day of the Lord here. It's not going to be anything nice. Go ahead. For the great day of his wrath is come. For the great day of his wrath is come. We've been talking about it for so long, but now it's here. Now it's here. Go ahead. And who shall be able to stand? And who shall be able to stand? Nobody that's been sinning against God. Nobody has been, that, that hasn't been keeping his commandments. If you haven't been keeping his commandments, you are in trouble at this time. So you need to find out what's going on. Ask your preacher about these scriptures. And if he's lying to you, you need to get up and go somewhere else. Because again, you are going to pay what you owe if you haven't got it together by this time. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 